This is Dana, a German Shepherd with a unique ability. She's been trained to sniff out mosquitoes. Today, she's showing off her skills to a group of researchers in Mali who are working hard to eradicate malaria. Dana is helping them understand where mosquitoes go in the dry season. A large swath of the African Sahel, including Mali, is extremely dry for up to eight months of the year. When the rains begin in the spring, mosquitoes suddenly appear in huge numbers as if from nowhere. It's possible that the mosquitoes migrate, but entomologist Tovi Lehman thinks that the species that transmits malaria most efficiently stays and hides. Dana's job is to find their hiding spots. If the researchers can figure out where mosquitoes wait out the dry season, they might be able to wipe out the insects and the disease they carry when they're easy targets. The problem is, mosquitoes have no natural scent. For this unusual canine collaboration to work, the researchers had to give mosquitoes an odor. They chose vetiver, a grass that's not native to Africa. Its oil has an earthy smell that's pleasant enough to work with and lasts long enough to use in experiments. The idea is to capture and anesthetize mosquitoes, then glue vetiver-scented strings onto their bellies. Dana learned to recognize the vetiver scent in California with trainer Sapir Weiss. They've come to Mali to see if the training has worked, and it's going well. What's that? Yes. Hey, great. <laughs> Dana's find is rewarded with a tennis ball, her favorite toy. <laughs> The hunt continues in and around a village called Chirola. To prove the concept works, Dana is looking for scented strings that have been hidden in natural holes. Mali is much hotter than California, and since dogs can't sniff and pant at the same time, Sapir had to retrain Dana to stop searching every so often so she could pant and cool off. Dana's work was so successful that Sapir taught two more dogs and their Malian handlers to continue Dana's work when she returned home. Good job. The dogs have turned up nine suspicious shelters, giving researchers clues about where mosquitoes may hide. Potential hideouts include holes in the ground, old termite mounds, and small holes in big trees. The next step is using nets to try to catch mosquitoes as they emerge from their hiding spots when the rains begin. Thanks to the noses of dogs like Dana, scientists are getting closer to their goal of eradicating malaria. Oh. Oh, yeah. Ooh, amazing! A single one? 